I feel very special boy. A very spicy boy. Very spicy. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and I'm here with my sensei, Miguel, for a very special episode today. We are doing a deck profile. Uh, if you are here for your first time, I greatly appreciate you coming by. If you would take the time to hit that subscription button and press that little ring dong, ding dong bell, definitely check out El Topo Loco's channel. We will have the description in the link below. So let's get into this deck profile. So tell us about this leader, man. All right, so I played launch yesterday because I was like, this leader is kind of crazy. Um, so for those of you that don't know, every time you combo, you uh, you draw a card. Um, also, the deck contains these flip cards that when you combo with them, you flip a life. And when you flip a life, you get to flip over to the other side. Also, when you flip, you draw a card. On this side, when you swing, you knife something five. And then you also draw a card combo on this side. So it just nets you like a ton of cards. Straight value. Let's get into the deck. So I play two of the TP. All of them have the flip effect. When you combo, you flip a life. And then you draw a card. And you obviously flip you later. I can only get my hands on two for the event. So I play two. I'll probably bump this up to three or four. It's an awesome card. Uh, you could summon it whenever you combo. You nag something five. So uh, combine with your leader, you're nagging something ten. Four of the SR. I think this is the best card in the deck. If you time this right, you can get like multiple flips out of this card. So I play a green card in the deck. That's a uh, AC Dispatch Dispo. Going second, you can swing, combo this, draw, uh, flip your leader, draw, combo Dispo, draw. You remove Dispo from your warp, and then you play this. So you're getting three flips out of one card. Value City. Triple, triple. Four of the Boma, which I will cut down for more TPs once I get my hand on them. She just does the flip. She also a cantrip. Cantrip, for those of you that don't know, is a card that you play for an energy and you get a card back. So yeah, essentially it's deck filtration, which allows you to see more of your deck, which is valuable because in card games, the more cards you see, the more you control your hand, the more things you understand you're gonna be able to play that have value. I learned that from my sensei. <laughs> This man gives you too much credit. So I played two of Mr. Tao. Tao, bye bye. Hear you. This card is awesome. I'm probably gonna bump it up to three. It just extends your plays. When you have three guys on board, you play it for free, and it's a 15k critical. I play an arrival Champa Beerson deck, so you can swing with this uh, combo, a super combo, and then arrival the Champa Beerson, give it double strike for 25. Okay, double Topinski. Hot stash, hot cash. But I played three of this, two hasty dispatch. When you don't control a battle card, you warp it and then you play a one drop. So it allows you to recycle your one drop flip cards and get more value out of them. Um, shout out to Robert Rizzi because he was the first one that to include this in his uh, launch build. We did two of Mr. Hee Hee. <laughs> if anybody knows uh, El Topo Loco, they know we love this card. It does a lot. Um, and especially in decks like this that go wide. So it extends your plays and it also sets up your overall and it gets removal and it's a blocker. It's just any card that has that has more than, uh, more than two uh, uses in the game. It's just like, it's insane. Definitely valuing the card is directly proportional to counting the number of things it does. 100%. And this card's got blocker, it's got removal, it's got uh, you KO something. I mean, you're removing your It's also board. a 20k swing afterwards, if you want. Yeah, there's just, there's so much potential. It's a, the, the man, you know, he's holding two balls of energy for a specific reason because the card is gas. He's Mr. Hee Hee, man. Three of the Beerus, uh, self-explanatory. This is uh, usually just either a green charge or a green combo for arrival, or you pitch it off the Bardock uh, that you'll see later. The Bardock overall, the draw two pitch one, and you don't neg it all from that Bardock because you just discard this and it's another body, another swing. This deck, when it goes off, it gets probably maximum 12 things in a turn. Three of the uh, the TP trunks. He's a revenge blocker that you can play for free when you control multicolor. Uh, and for the super combo, two, you, you get so much value out of this card. Can we just take a hot second Yeah. and just talk about the name of this card? He's the demolition he's man. He's the demolition man. I mean, look at this man. He's coming in. He's got this big ball of energy. Man, he killed Yamcha <laughs> for the first time. I mean, this man is gas. I mean, use it for a rival. You draw when you combo with it and you play it again. So you get two super combos out of it. Essentially, you're getting three uses out of it. You're getting a, a super combo. You're getting a, a body on board. You're also getting a rival fodder and potentially a second super combo. So that's really yeah. four. It's also another body when you're done. Sack it off for Belmont if need be. All right, for the Gogeta package, we did three and three this gogeta is the arrival for one for one red energy for one red energy for one red energy <laughs> <laughs> ah, for one red energy <laughs> blows up a dude four drop or lower comes into play you get to play the gogeta acrobatics for free so when you use this guy for alliance they're burning a life no matter how high the how high or low their life is they're losing a life uh, two chomp beers this card is 
pretty, pretty good. You can after image and then you can arrival this and kill something 30k. Also, uh, it gives something double strike when it comes into play. So you can you can be cheeky and you can swing with something like a let's say you swing some, with something like a topo that you had from the turn before from the gating. And then just give a double strike mid battle after you arrive. We'll like throw a nap on and just get in there. Steve, uh, shout out to the King Steve. Steve was actually the first one that played this on me. And I was just like, what is this card doing? Like this card does so many things. It draws you two cards and it burns and it gets alliance. Like so much, so much value. It's got a double strike on top of that. So this card's essentially a triple strike. And with acrobatic out, you're looking at a quadruple strike. I think three is a good solid number. You're gonna see them because the deck filters a lot. Three is a good number. The deck filters enough. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see it. You'll see it. You'll see it when you need it. Two Bardock, uh, over on four. Uh, draw two, discard a card. It's usually like a sequence. Like it'll, it'll go Tau, Belmod, Overhelm, Beerus. Like you'll have plenty of swings. If your opponent decides to spark and negate, you throw in another Bardock because there's no bad Bardock cards in this game. So there's plenty of ways to just play this card. Back Keep up. in mind when you swing with this, uh, have it be your first swing because it can only restand after the first counter. So if you swing with something else and they activate a counter, it does not trigger. Sensei Pro Tips. Two Violent Rays, um, two After Image, which is a card that I know a lot of people have abandoned, but I still think it's really solid and can save your life. And it allows you to have a combo step after you counter. So for the one-ups, uh, one Kaioken because it's it's just spicy and it's just, it's also a board wipe. Um, another one of, man, this card is just, I want to play more of this card. So another one of uh, Meki Kabora. Um, I don't like this in the main, man. I try to be spicy, but it was like so butt yesterday. Um, this is probably going to come out of the main deck for some spice. Uh, and last but not least, the Kai. Yo, Kai! This card should say uh, 40k beat safe for one energy because that's what I used it for yesterday all day. Running a double strike chomp on this is gross. All right. Uh, let's so, get to the story time. Yeah, story time. So Miguel. I was not really gonna go to this event in CT. He was like, you should go, this place is fun, we'll have a good time. And I was like, all right, let's go. We got some participation packs. It's not just me though, it's when we're t opening packs together. We what, we we're crack together. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I gotta crack these packs with Miguel. We had six participation packs between us. I brought the packs over and I was like, Miguel, you gotta bless these packs, man. And he started doing his hoodoo voodoo juju magic over it. Ooh. Every pack I ripped, I stripped them. They were like, you know, homies we were hanging around, we were jumping around, and I was, and I was looking for the Kai, because I haven't cracked a Kai. I was stripping the packs open, and every time I stripped a pack, I was like, yo, Kai, yo, Kai, non-foil rare, yo, Kai, non-foil rare. Sixth pack, yo, Kai, and boom, you can't even see it, it's so shiny. Look at this Value. thing. This is the best looking SCR that has been printed in a while. I mean, if it's something good looking in your hand, and you do get to play it, that's the most fun part of this game. These cards are so good looking. Listen, tell me a card that looks, that smells better than it looks. It looks, it makes your eyeballs feel so nice. So yeah, so I pulled the Kai, it was amazing. I had so much fun yesterday. Uh, shout out to our teammate, Honey, Honey. Kale for top four yesterday. If you guys are also looking for some other content, make sure to check out people like the Super Players, uh, Anthony Hernandez, uh, Joey Paladino, Crossworld TCG has some really, really amazing content. Android, Android, Android Eggman, the Hill Espira, Brothers, the Hill Twins. There are a lot of amazing uh, uh, content creators out there for this game. I want to thank you guys for coming by. I very much appreciate um, you coming and watching the show. I am a dentist. I can't end the show without doing a dental tooth tip. So there's a lot of controversy about when you should brush your teeth in the morning. Should you do it before breakfast or after breakfast? When you go to sleep at night, you form something on your teeth called a pellicle. It is an initial bacterial layer. And when you don't brush your teeth and you eat, you digest some of that pellicle. So it is good to brush that off of your teeth before you eat. The benefit of brushing your teeth after breakfast is that you wipe food off of your teeth that would be sitting on there for the duration of the day. But in reality, as a practicing doctor, I do recommend to my patients brush your teeth when you remember to brush your teeth because brushing your teeth once is better than brushing your teeth nuts in the morning. This has been Joku DMD. Thanks for coming to my show. Sensei Later, guys. Hill. See you guys next time. About to burn it down. That's right. This is bird bat burn the battery on. Lose the card, you gotta burn. You're gonna get in there. Alrighty. Come on, boys. It's like invoker turn five. We gotta set this battery light up to the ground. Up to the ground.
Let's go. 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 Let's go.